Dash is in Miami, Dashes.com is launched and global, and we continue the up-down price roller coaster, but after each crash, we end up a little higher than we were before. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you're watching Dash Detailed. Let's begin with Dash in the News. Dash got a mention in The Federalist by community member Eric Sammons, who wrote that Dash's innovative governance structure has the potential to transform politics as we know them. Dash then had another mention in the publication Fin Techniques in a piece entitled The Cryptosphere Teaches Economics, in which our network is compared to historical Rome itself. An interesting read. Dash then got another mention in a travel piece by writer Aaron Koenig, who published a piece on Steemit about his visit to Costa Rica. While there, Aaron visited one of the primary mining farm operations on the Dash network called Avalon Life, which just so happens to utilize solar and geothermal power in their generation of magic internet money. And finally, I, Amanda B. Johnson, had the opportunity to give an interview on the YouTube series Bitcoin Meister. The Bitcoin Meister, Adam, left no stone unturned as he asked me what I thought about Steam, Monero, and why I've taken shots at Bitcoin in the past. You can find that interview linked in the description below, as with all of today's links. And now to development updates. Hello, buddy! Dashes.com has launched, which means that our network now has its own version of localbitcoins.com, and it supports everywhere. There are already sell ads put up in the Netherlands, France, even in my own backyard here in good old Utah. Anyone can create an account, and buyers and sellers are rated over time according to reputation. A new API-driven Dash payment processor that would allow merchants to accept Dash directly to their own wallets with fancy little invoices is being tested on testnet by Dash developer Snogcell. Snogcell says this payment processor should only be used on testnet until 12.1 is officially launched. And currently the plugin supports only WooCommerce. However, all the parts are there for someone to set it up as a standalone product if they wanted to. In fact, for those that are interested, I included a sample which uses WebSocket to connect to the payment processor. It's very basic, but I hope it serves as inspiration for new plugins and integrations further down the road. You can test out the functionality of the payment processor now using this web app. Two projects have newly been added by Ryan Taylor to the project update section of the Dash Forum, and they are the Office Space at Skysong, as well as the Dash with Wall of Coins integration. A special note is that the Wall of Coins API, set to be launched publicly in February, is currently available for testing. This means that if you run a website where you would like to have a button that says buy Dash here or sell Dash here, you can begin testing out the Wall of Coins API functionality right now. Well, maybe not right now, maybe after this show. Now to business news. There is a business newly accepting Dash, and it is CustomMuzzleBrakes.com, which is a U.S. manufacturer of precision muzzle devices. And speaking of merchants newly accepting Dash, we have recently crossed the 100 merchant threshold. This map, maintained by Dash core team member Tungfa, shows the 100-plus physical location businesses around the world currently accepting Dash. In other business news, the crypto news site Bitcoinist.com has launched their Pretty Pretty Price feed, which features a live feed of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dash prices. And there are two fiat to Dash gateways which you may not know about, and while they are not cheap, they do support the likes of credit cards and PayPal. They are WeSellCrypto.com and Changely.com. Now to price movement. Current Dash price in US dollars is in the neighborhood of $14.24. This gives us a market cap of roughly $100 million, a 24-hour trade volume of $2 million, and this with 7 million coins in existence. This is a 12% increase in market cap from seven days ago. As I said, roller coaster. And to zoom out a bit, a 29% increase from three months ago. To put all this into context, here is the lifetime price chart of Dash from when it was launched in early 2014, three years ago. Now to social happenings. 
Dash is currently representing in Miami at the North American Bitcoin Conference. Here is the booth which visitors can stop by. And you'll see on the right side here an interesting looking contraption. What is it, you ask? It is a tabletop vending machine that dispenses water and accepts Dash instant send payments. Designed and built by Dash core team member Mu Kao Mu, you can see the machine being tested successfully here before the Miami conference began. If you'd like to remain in the know about goings on while the conference is in session, check out this thread for updates from the people on the ground there. Also in social happenings, community member DAF has recently launched DashFrance.com. Here, French speakers will be able to find translated pieces of Dash-related news and videos. On Zazzle.com, some Dash swag is being offered, such as hats and bags and t-shirts. And two core team members have published comprehensive updates, though, of differing topics. Fernando has published What's Coming in 12.1, which is an overview for anyone who just wants to know what is all of this buzz about 12.1 again? Give me the basics of what's going to be different in Dash. And secondly, Ryan Taylor wrote his now traditional annual piece, giving an overview of everything that happened in Dash in 2016 and comparing that to what happened in 2015. Now to network statistics. There are 4,382 masternodes at the time of recording, and this is up 89 masternodes from last week's 4,293. There are roughly 430 non-masternode full nodes open on the network at this time, making for a grand total of 4,817 full nodes on the network. Today's hash rate is 2.1 terahashes, which is down only slightly from a new all-time high that was reached a few days ago of 2.14 terahashes. To put this in a bit of context, here is the three-month hash rate chart, where you'll see that hash rate has doubled from what it was three months ago. And then, of course, the lifetime hash rate chart, which shows the considerable climbs in hash rate that have taken place since ASICs were launched on the network in June of 2016. And this week, as with last week, there are yet still new pre-proposals being made by total newcomers to the community on the forum. And it is certain that they would appreciate feedback on their threads from Masternode voters. And finally, in current opportunities, a contest to test Dash on Testnet before the 12.1 release has been launched by Dashforce. This means that anybody, even you, my friend, can get paid Dash to download the testnet client and do things like mix coins, use instant send, use private send, mine with your CPU, etc., etc. Details on how to test as well as the amounts of compensation available can be found in the Dash Nation Slack. And that's it for Dash Detailed this week, friend. If you or someone you know would prefer to watch this episode with subtitles in Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Ukrainian, French, or Mandarin Chinese, come back on Fridays at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, where you'll find the subtitles ready for your viewing. Conversely, if you or someone you know is in mainland China and you'd rather watch on Yuku, Visit our page there on Saturday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, where you'll find the video ready for you. That's it. See you next Wednesday.